Welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, my name is Rudze Morovete. And those that are coming back, welcome back, boss babe. I love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Please don't forget to subscribe, to like, to share, and to leave me a sweet comment. And if you haven't subscribed, don't wait a minute. Please subscribe, and I hope you enjoy this vlog. It's at Heidi, it's an under Heidi Park development. This is in Glen Austin. The estate name is called the Austin, and we renting it out for 9,500 rand. So um, I need to give them their keys and then I'm gonna rush to the appointment. I don't even have battery, so I'm not gonna take you guys through to the training. I'm gonna pick you guys when um, I've charged my camera. So yeah. So today it's Thursday and I have a meeting uh, with the team. We are meeting by my garage because guys, guess what? We don't have an office anymore. Our office that we were using in Halfway Gardens, the office park is getting liquidated. Things are tough. Things are bad out there. So now we need to look for an office. But we've decided, you know what, it's not worth it. Right now, we just want to slaughter as many deals as possible. So we have set up a mini office in my garage. Initially, I've set up for myself so that when I work from home, I can work there. But now we've acted like extra desks for the team. Because no maganjani, we're going to do this. So I need to actually do some payments for landlords because it's month end and then hop into the meeting so i don't have much time so let me rush and do that and then yeah i know 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 i haven't picked up my camera in a week so that's the more reason why i picked it up now so that i can give you guys an update of what is happening so the last time i vlogged was when I don't remember okay so what is happening now is that okay last week i didn't vlog mainly because it was a very very tricky uh, week for um, agents more especially people like me who are still busy 
pursuing their real estate career. So what has happened is that last week, um, okay, let me backdate it. So when I started uh, Muga Properties in the beginning of the year, I was not done with my qualifications. So I was still busy with my qualifications, which then means that I had to hire a principal that was signing on our behalf as an entire agency. So obviously, um, when that happened, I started running the company, busy up and down, trying to figure out where to make ends meet, which then made um, me delay in terms of uh, enrolling for my qualifications. And but then with me, what have happened is that I didn't need a lot of, to do a lot. All I needed was just to write exams because uh, my honors degree uh, allows me to get exempted. So I've done the exemption, but then I needed to write my exam. So the first exam is called the PD4. And then I wrote that in August. When I wrote that in August, uh, we waited for results last week. <laughs> last week was when the results were coming out I was having a busy day, a busy week and what had then happened is that um, the results came out on I think it was the 31st of October I forgot the exact date but I think it was the 31st of October but the motive of this is that the day that the results were coming out was the day that the last day for me to be able to register for PDE 5, which is my last exam. Right. So now the whole day I was waiting. Other people got their results. I haven't got in mine. I waited, 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 drove to the PPRA, which is in Santin. When I get there, they like it's internal error. I tell them, look, I'm trying to write my exam because I need to be able to run this organization the way I want to run it. They're like, no, don't worry. We're going to give you guys an extension. Ah, but we all know that was just bluffing. So now, um, I think around half past four in the afternoon, that's when I got uh, my result. And then when I got my result, can you please email this? Sorry. So when I got my results around half past four, the first thing that I did was just to was um was just to apply for PD five, right? Mind you, PD five it's supposed to be written on the fourteenth of November. This was on the thirty first of October. So I registered, and then there's a I needed to make a payment, and then because of the time. That I got my results and the time I got to register, I didn't make it in time. When I didn't make it in time, I gave up, right? Left it because um, I knew that the, because I passed my PDA 4, I was then allowed to upgrade to work as a principal so that I can continue, uh, I can then do things on my own without my uh, former principal signing for me. So I left it. I was like, I'll go to get an upgrade. When I get to the PPRA for an upgrade, guess what? Shock of my life. They said they no longer do upgrades, so I need to write that exam. And that was on the, when I do that, it was on the 8th of November. Literally two days from today, because today is the 12th. Literally four days from today, because today is the 12th. So on the 8th, that's when I discovered... I either have to continue with my principal, which by then we've already removed as a director of the company because um, I could, our contract was to say when I qualify, she then has to be removed. And also the PPRA uh, requirements says the same thing that she needs to be removed and then I need to then step up. So now it's my time to step up and the PPRA changed the rules. They changed the rules, Sana. I was frustrated. I literally stayed there for almost five hours because according to them, they're like, okay, now that you've removed this person, you've done this and this and this, we don't know what to do. And I'm like, but at the end of the day, I need to run. My company can stop. And then we, they ended up saying, you know what, since you have registered for the exam, the only thing that you're missing is the payment. Then make the payment and write the exam on the 14th guys that was the 8th 
how many days do I have to prepare? Literally, five less than five days to prepare for exam, right? So now, I can't argue. I mean, I don't have any other way to do this. Yes, I'm allowed to sign my own documents because I'm qualified. But also, I can't sign my agent's um, um, employment letters and stuff until we've done with this whole process. So I'm like, okay, cool. If you're going to give me that alternate, I'm sure I'm going to take the high road, which then means that I had to then fully register for number uh, PD5. And right now, as I'm speaking to you, I'm two days away from writing it. Maybe by the time you guys re see this vlog, I would have... Um, I would have wrote the exam waiting for my result which i'm thinking they come in january so now from that entire week you can see the frustration i couldn't vlog i couldn't pick up my camera i wanted to share the excitement of making it as a full status agent with you guys but i was also frustrated with the fact that now we have done all the steps forward but now the ppr is changing rules at the end of the day and i didn't know what to do and then immediately when they resolve the issue to say no continue practicing um get enrolled i have few days to prepare so in between my appointment and preparing for exam i am a dead person i'm literally working i don't i don't know even know how i'm still standing because i'm breathing through the wound i wake up in the morning study go to appointments because i can't stop working I cannot stop servicing my client. Like I told myself I'm going to take a day off. But I have a lot going on. And it's the last quarter of the year. We can't afford to slow down. So basically that has been happening. And yet. Guys when you say being a business owner is not easy. I'm not even joking. Because. Um, remember. We had an office uh, space. In the beginning of the year. We had problems with the landlord. They were they had water issues. They we relocated. We moved to another office, um, in halfway gardens. This is the way you guys will see most of my vlogs. Guess what? That also fell through. The office park is getting liquidated. Now I need to run around to find a new office space in November. So I ended up with that. We all. We, we sat down and then we ended up saying, you know what, we can't afford to lose our focus. So the best thing that we do is to set up uh, an office in my garage. So right now we we can initially it was me alone. I had my own desk there so that I don't get distraction from the house. So now we all working in the garage. I don't know if I'll be able to show you guys that setup. Uh, but you will get to see it as time goes because that's where we held our meetings and stuff like that unless if we are going out for trainings so a lot has been happening sana and in the midst of it all there's been um companies from people that have reached out to then um suggest that they wanted to buy muga properties they have um seeing that i don't know maybe let me put it the way they put it what they are saying is that black companies don't succeed in this industry so what they have then offered is that they offering that um, they give you they allow you to trade under them and so actually they buy your company you they actually buy you and your company so you literally work from them so for them so i've been getting those kind of calls at some point i was tempted <laughs> the devil got me because it is not easy i wanted to cry so bad at some point i got my mind was like yeah man i can't do but then god reminded me that you know what i had a purpose for this and you just gonna have to trust me and that's what i'm doing i'm also trusting him with this exam because if i say i'm ready I'll be lying to you. So right now, I just came back from a viewing. I need to get inside the house. Um, get ready. Actually, before then, I still have to send some stuff to my client. And then, only then, I can continue with my studies. Tomorrow, I have an appointment. I have a listing appointment at 10 a.m. 
um that was a referral from my friend thank you friend uh, my ex-colleague my former colleague i can't wait for her to come back to real estate i miss her so much um she referred me a client and then from there i'm hoping i don't get more view more stuff so that i can come back prep because on thursday Ziyasha. so guys let me stop rambling but i just wanted to fill you guys in in terms of what was happening and yeah that's exactly what is happening so i'm guessing that it's still gonna be very very hectic until things slow down in december but we're gonna do what we're gonna do we're gonna continue vlogging we're gonna continue to i'm gonna t continue to take you guys through this journey and we're not stopping this time around we are not stopping i promise you guys that i'll be there when gear goisha even when i'm not going right now um ula but we're gonna continue so i'm gonna catch up with you guys when i have another activity to do i don't know when that is gonna be because right now i'm just gonna go uh send emails eat and then study and then we will catch up maybe tomorrow when we go to a viewing appointment so yeah good morning good morning <coughs> Ooh, good morning it is quarter past nine wednesday wednesday the 13th it's literally day before my exams i am so bent out <laughs> i am so bent out i'm very very tired but i have at least an appointment now at half past nine and i need to get dressed for that i have a listening appointment at half past it was supposed to be a 10 but then um um the owner said they will be a little bit early so i need to dress up in the next five minutes and leave this place because um it's 10 minutes away from me so i need to do that quickly but i just came here to greet you guys and tell you what we're doing so we are going to a listing appointment i don't know if i'm gonna be able to take you along because this is a new client i haven't met them it's the first time i meet them so i'm gonna see when i get there if i will be able to share snippets of how the house looks and yeah but basically i am tired i am drained i have no energy left in me so what i'm planning i'm gonna go there take um do the listing come back take a nap and study because i'm not planning to stay up until late because i know that the exam is very draining so i'm gonna <coughs> try come back home early and then get some rest finish studying i want to be like completely done by 6 p.m today so that i can like forget about it and then see you tomorrow morning and this week i don't have energy for anything I think on Friday I'm just gonna rest and then I'll go back to work next week but you know the type of job that I do it's so funny um, the problem is um, if I have viewings I'm gonna have to attend them but I wish I can just take Friday off and then go back to regular regular on a Saturday and Sunday but let me go get dressed quickly and then I'll catch up with you guys when we go into Glen Austin Season. Only been a few hours, but it felt like days. Only been days, but it felt like months. I've been gone for a year, only know like once. Life moves fast when you do what you want. I guess I'm doing what I want. Hope you're doing what you want. Look like Tyler Perry But she don't love me She's too scary My hope is fun like Jackie Brown I wanna know what she's too down Will you be my leading lady? I wanna contract them, no baby In the meantime In the meantime I'm doing what you Everybody beats like Odell oh. Over my my killers don't tell Shut over my mark of the New York to sell oh. Now my bitch is Chanel Will you be my leading lady? So guys, I'm done with um, the listing appointment That flood is massive, like 
Oh my god, that place is massive. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. So, um, right now, it's time to go and finish studying. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go home, get some rest, chill a bit, and then I'm going to study. And then I will see you guys um, tomorrow because right now, all that is going to happen is just me finishing up studying and yeah i just can't wait to finish studying so i can like finish my year end goals because i have told myself what i want to achieve before the end of the year and i know november is my, more like the last month for me to achieve everything that i want to achieve mainly because people are going to slow down so before the slowing down i really want to get my life together so once i'm done with writing i think that's when i'm gonna go back to my normal routine of work and um at least when people close i will then also feel like i closed well this year particularly i'm not having the year and fatigue for some reason maybe because i'm having a busy season and i'm just so excited about the opportunities that are coming like all the things that god is doing in the background you know all the work that i've been seeing i've literally sold um a, a, a property that is above my price range for the first time i've entered a new price bracket i'm gonna tell you guys about that next year <laughs> so i've sold um, you know when you, as an agent you know that you've sold houses between this price and this price this year I got to sell above that price you know and I was so super proud of myself you know and yeah man it's been amazing it's been a great year and a struggling year as well because I had to learn a lot I have to learn to put myself first I had to learn to focus on my business and stand on business every single day I had to learn how to manage my emotions how to uh, stay woke I had to learn a lot by being a business owner and I'm glad that um, I got to experience that because going into the new year um, I do know that I do have now the skills and capability to take my business from one level to the other because I've learned emotional intelligence, I've learned to stay true to myself, I've learned to be patient with people, with my agents, my colleagues, my partners, you know, I've just learned a lot of things and I think the year is ending on a good note for me. and. Yeah, I didn't achieve everything that I wanted to achieve. I had a lot of things that I wanted to achieve, but um, I am glad of those that I managed to achieve because it was not an easy road. It was not an easy road, but I'm also glad that I made it this far. In terms of my career, my career changed in a way that I never imagined. I reached heights that I never thought I would reach and there's more to come you know so i'm just grateful for that and yeah i need to prep for my studies because next year we are done with this next year we need to be talking a different language you know i'm already happy with the fact that now um i made it on the first exam and i can then um take my company from different heights as well you know now i'm excited to actually just wrap this up finish out off and have a pleasant 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 year ahead and for those that are still contemplating starting something this is your sign again please start it doesn't hurt to start you have nothing to lose and hear from me it's not easier than it is harder and it's not harder than it is easier you get what you put in and that's what i want to leave you guys with and yeah wish me the best with my new listings and with my uh with my new listing and also with my exams and i will see you guys later good morning guys it is the day of the exam it is currently half past seven and I need to be seated by 8 o'clock. My exam paper is already out. I browsed through it. And I know we're going to make it. Because it's what I prepared. My voice is gone. 
but um, I think it's the it's because it's still early and my body is tired. But I need to go get ready at my work at my, at my exam station, sit and start writing. So this is my exam phase. I'm tired. I am tired and I have work after this. I have viewings after this. But we're gonna make it through. We're gonna this is the last quarter of the year, so we're going for everything that we said we want. So I just came here to greet you guys and to tell you that your bend out Han, it's alive and it's time to go right. So let me leave so that I'm not late and go set up my exam room, chill, have my water ready, my snacks ready, everything is ready. We're just gonna go get this qualification. So I'll catch up with you guys later. I hope. I'll have the energy, otherwise we'll talk tomorrow. So Shaba, wish me all the best. Done with the exams. So I am done guys. Oh my god, I am done. I feel so relieved. I feel so so happy. <sighs> it was a long week. So I'm done. It was amazing. I enjoyed it. I really really enjoyed every part of that exam. Right now, what I want to do, I want to take a nap. Because I have a feeling at half past four and it's currently one o'clock so I need to take a nap so that I can wake up and go to my work so hi from my hand that just finished a PDF 5 exam <laughs> just woke up from a nap took another shower so that I can be ready for my viewing it is currently 15.38 this current with it 1538 and yeah I'm leaving for my viewing and then I can't wait to come back home because I still feel like I need to sleep well, especially since I'm waking tomorrow so yeah let me go to a viewing I just thought I should give you guys an update so you know that after after exams we don't sleep we still go look for the bread so right now, we are going to get the bread. So, hi my boys, babes. I am actually done with my viewing. It is half past five. And I came here to close off this vlog. I honestly don't know how long this vlog is, but we tried our best. We showed up. Um, it was a very, very busy few weeks of my life or month, busy month. Um, and I am so happy with the result of, of where I am now. Um, I think... I can um, I can speak and say um, I really showed up this year and I know that this is not the last vlog of the year we're still vlogging but I think I'm wrapping up my year because I am actually tired I am burned out I feel like the year and fatigue is catching up with me now so I'm I want to slow down as well I want to slow down take a breather I'm still at work. Obviously, I still have a couple of properties to move uh, before the end of the year. And I'm still going to be working. But I am also allowing myself to take a breather. When the mark when people um, go out, uh, go away, I'm also going to allow myself to rest. Because I have this thing of when people go away, I want to like keep running and keep working. But right now, I told myself, you know what? You showed up. You've started a new business it's the end of the year you're still standing you wrote both your exams you know you sold properties you rented out properties uh you lend a lot you um you land you 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 unlearn you know there's a lot that have happened and i am giving myself grace and i just came to close off this vlog if you have watched until here please leave me a heart i love you so much and I welcome you again on the Boss Babe family. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please become a Boss Babe and let us help each other through our career journey. And I love you guys. Please don't forget to subscribe, to share, to like. And I'll see you on the next vlog.